On June 28, 1969, the New York City Police Department raided the historic Stonewall Inn on Christopher Street, right here in Manhattan, a popular gay bar in Greenwich Village. At the time, homosexuality was a crime in New York, and raids of gay bars were a regular occurrence. However, this raid and this night were different from any seen before. The raid turned into a street riot that lasted some six days and was the major turning point in the gay rights movement in America and perhaps even around the world. A new documentary titled Stonewall Uprising tells the story of that fateful night through interviews with bar patrons, reporters, and the policemen who led the raid. Take a look. Somehow being gay was the most terrible thing you could possibly be. And I, I just didn't understand that. The Stonewall pulled in everyone from every part of gay life. We were at the back of the room, and the lights went on. So everybody stopped what they were doing. The place is under arrest. When you exit, have some identification. This time they said, we're not going. Something snapped. It's like, what's, this, this is not right. This, this, what are we being beat up for? You know, for, for wanting to dance? All of a sudden, pandemonium broke loose. We weren't letting ourselves be carted off to jails. We weren't letting ourselves be cowed and intimidating. Gay people were actually fighting back. In the civil rights movement, we ran from the police. In the peace movement, we ran from the police. The police ran from us, and they ran from faggots. As 13 celebrates the summer of 69 with its multi-platform experience, we welcome Stonewall Uprising co-directors, Kate Davis and David Heilbrunner. Welcome to both of you. Before we get into the details, let me ask you both the same question, which I ask all filmmakers. Why this story? Why this film? David, you first. Well, you know, not only is it important to remember Stonewall and, and what happened that night, but it's important to remember what 1969 was like. And I think one of the things, we have kids, and I want my kids to be able to look at this film and remember how far we've come. In 1969, it was illegal to you know, any homosexual acts around the country would, would keep you in the closet. I mean, you, you were facing uh, imprisonment. You were facing uh, potentially uh, being locked up in an insane asylum, medi involuntarily medicated. That was only 50 years ago. So when people in this younger, this new generation watches this film, I want them to remember how far we've come and let's make sure we don't go back. Yeah, and a lot of people don't realize that the Gay Pride Parade, which now is, of course, a worldwide phenomenon, mm -hmm. really stemmed from the aftermath of those nights of rioting in the West Village in New York City, 1969. Um, and, and it galvanized an entire movement that had yet to sort of the pe gays and lesbians had yet to find each other. I mean, there wasn't even the word gay, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, it was amazing that this film hadn't been done before, actually, the telling of the dramatic unfolding of the events, and we were just lucky to find people who were there at the time who could bring it to life. People who were there at the bar explaining in the film, you know, they had just had it. And so, you know, I think it had just come to a tipping point, and they, they had had enough and decided that the only way things would change would be to fight back. They certainly were absorbing some of the, you know, revolutionary spirit from, you know, the civil rights movement. Um, and. Uh, finally co-opted that and made it their own. Was it purely spontaneous, the, the reaction that night? I believe so, from everything yeah. we learned. Yeah. But it extended. It didn't end. How did that happen? Well, you know, the gay community was getting more and more pissed off. I mean, the stone, you have to understand, the Stonewall Bar just wasn't a regular bar. It was a mafia-run yeah, rat ask hole. That. Right? And, and the only people who would serve the gay community when they were being openly gay, were the mafia. And they served them watered-down beer and overpriced drinks. So this is the one place, right, the one place you're allowed to be out, and the cops come and victimize you. Once a week, they come in, they round you up, take you back to the precinct in the paddy wagon. And that was a regular drill? Yeah. And, and, you know, I think, as Katie said, you know, it was 1969, the country was changing, people were marching in the streets, students were protesting, and I think there's something in the air that people said, I'm not, I'm not taking it anymore, we're not going. And, and it just, it, it, it caught like, you know, a match to gasoline, and it continued because people said, I'm not going back. There, there was no going back after that first night. And when the, in the subsequent nights, people around the city heard about it, and straight people came in, and everybody joined, and people from New Jersey came over. So it was an amazing kind of coming together. 
astonishingly to me, you know, a couple of days later after the riots, I said, wait a minute, what are we going to do now, you know, amongst the litter, the burnt right. police cars and the broken glass? Because they and, were riots. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't just protests. Yeah. They turned into damaging, destructive Absolutely. riots. Absolutely. Yeah. And it was dangerous. And, yeah. you know, and the, the police came in, you know, with, in phalanxes. Yeah. If that's the word. Yeah. Phalanxes is yeah. the word. Yeah. Military, yeah. military they, phalanx. Exactly. Yeah. And we, they had decided to form a, a sort of a coalition at town hall down in the village, and and they began the first to, to, to form and, and organize the first gay pride parade. Is it hyperbolic for us to say that it, this was, if not the pivotal moment, one of the pivotal moments in, in the, the, the struggle for, for civil rights and human rights for the LGBTQ community? I would say it's the with the, with the capital I would say D. The. Okay. I, I would. I can't. I can't think of another one. Congratulations to both of you. Great work. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thank and you. and Thank I think you. people are going to watch this and they are going to thoroughly appreciate it. And a reminder for you folks out there: Stonewall Uprising airs June 11th at 9 p.m. on PBS. Make sure you visit our website at metrofocus.org for additional streaming opportunities.